All right, we are going to attempt to beat Wall of Flesh. So this is our hell bridge. It goes on. Basically, the Wall of Flesh is going to spawn in. And what we're going to do is we're going to, like, shoot at him and hit him a bunch. But first, we need to get our gear for him. This is how you summon him. It's a guide voodoo doll. You throw it in the lava, and the guide will die, and then the Wall of Flesh will fall it says you're a terrible person. It's funny. It says that for like every voodoo doll in the game. There's two, so. The two voodoo dolls in the game. I also got this. This is like a cool mount. And I also got this mount, which is from the King of Slime. And if a chance to get it, just lets you jump really high and fall really fast. Really good, so. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick, and yeah. But I'm back. Oh, that hurt. Okay. 
So I'm gonna see every single good weapon that I can get that's best for fighting this guy. So, two imps. Every single buff. Let me put up the stuff in my inventory so it doesn't go in the way. Just accessories that I was looking at. Don't need that. That's all my dirt. I might as well keep some. Boom, 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 boom. I don't need water bottles for crafting it. Boom. Boom, boom. And we're gonna take potion. No, that's not for potions. This is the best thing in the game. Best uh one in the game. I don't know what it's called. Best buff in the game, basically. Kind of. All these accessories looking good. 12% melee speed. Grand Confusion. Um, Spectre Boots. Armor Frog Gear. Which I suppose it's just Frog Gear. It's like, uh, you jump higher. Why am I not jumping very high right now? Is it because I had this on? Yeah. This, and that should be good. I have all these. This, my mount is good. Uh, my weapons seem good. Let's get potions. We're gonna get more potions, actually. A uh, thorns potion. We'll get one of these just in case we fall into lava. Definitely gonna need a calming potion so we don't die and get swarmed. Alright, this is everything. Oh yeah, I forgot. B nades. Nothing else in here, it's good. We won't mainly be doing B nades, but we'll be doing some B nades. Because B nades are a little bit too OP, and I wanted to make this fight a challenge, because we prepared a lot for this challenge, so I want this fight to be a challenge and not. I, we prepared a lot. We prepared a lot for this fight, so I want this fight to be a challenge. So that's what's gonna happen. We have life force, heart reach. Heart reach is good because you can increase range for picking up uh, life hearts, which is the tiny little hearts that give you 20 health, and they're good because you know, like they drop a lot during fights. Oh crap! I thought I was at the end. This is the end. Now let's go all the way to the other end. This is just gonna show how long this bridge is. Not super long. If I was really dedicating to this, I would make it way bigger. But I think we're good enough. I think we're good enough doing less. I probably should have gotten a summoning potion for an extra summon. That's what I'm start gonna start doing in the future. Cause if I mean, I mean, if I have. Summons, might as well get a summoning potion. Oh, I forgot. I had this. Dashing. I can go faster. Alright, we've reached the end. About the end. That's why we probably shouldn't get some potions, because our summons are so weak right now anyway. Okay. First potion, calming potion. That very important. Sydney skin, thorns, swiftness, endurance, regeneration, archery, life force, and heart reach. Oh, I thought I didn't pick up the iron skin. That was the best one. Okay. 
I'll grab the trash. That's the wall of flesh. It is a wall of flesh. Keep hitting, keep hitting. We just gotta tank. We have so much health because of all our potions. We gotta tank the hits. Oh my god, we shred. Dude! We overestimated this boss fight. I didn't know he would be this powerful, honestly. Okay, he's getting pretty fast. That's what expert uh, boss does. That's what the expert mode wall of flesh does. He gets insanely fast. Go, 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 guys! Let's go! And now I have every single buff that's good in the game right now. Okay, it gives us this. One of the best things in the game permanently increases the number of accessory slots. So now I have an extra accessory slot right here. Really good. I got this summoning emblem, summoner emblem, which is something that I would be using if I was doing summoner class, but I decided to quit that. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out. Quit that. Okay, it seems that the hallowed is above us because, as you can see, I when I kill things down here, I got a soul of light from an enemy. Look, look, look. You can see this, look, it's like, that's a crystal right there. That means we're in a hallowed biome area. Up there is a hallowed area. Okay, okay. Take this. This is gonna be one of our new main weapons. Very good for now. That's a new weapon, that's a new enemy for hard mode. Um, I feel like we should fight him again. I feel like we really need to fight him again, because, you know, I, there's something that I need from this, it's called the, uh, the, the, it's an emblem, but it's the melee emblem, so now I'm gonna get more, more damage, but I think I can do something that I gotta figure out, so, to do that, we're gonna work to the house, where it's officially hard mode, so let's see something, you can see that it used to be 6% crimson, now it's, 6% what? The crimson should start growing now. That's what I'm trying to say. This area, it won't show it on the map because I haven't been there yet, but it's probably like out here now, into the ocean, and like out here now. It like spreads out more. Okay, now let's let's talk to this guy. <laughs> no way. Five percent. I need five of each. I don't know why I said five percent. Yeah, I won't be crafting that. So officially in hard mode, and what we need to do first is start preparing for the first boss that we need to do. There's actually multiple first bosses, and I think we're not gonna start off with the one that people usually will start off with. We're gonna try and start off with a different- mm, no we won't. We're gonna start off with the mechanical worm. With the destroyer. Dun dun dun. No, like, like, yeah, he's really hard to beat. And the reason it's okay that I use all those potions is because you see that I have like five more of each. That's- that's why it's okay. So I can put all this back for now. This. That's special. It's potions too. It has all the good potions in it. That's what I call that one. This emblem is gonna be good later, but I still... We need to fight him again. Hold on. There's something we can get from him. I want to see if this world has it. Um, oh, I swear. This is a world that is very good. Look, it even has red, the red, uh, like kind of like redstone Minecraft look. That thing above me, it's going off and on. There's a wall there. No, there's not. Wall there. No, there's not. I tried to make one up there too for like easier travel, but. Also, one here too. There used to be a switch here to turn this off and off, but I don't off and on, but I don't think there is anymore. Oh no, it's still there. It's right here. Oh wait, no, it's for the top area, so moms don't get in. 
This also has a switch. I just made this a lot about switches. It's cool. We're gonna look for that emblem because it would take a long time to keep farming the wall of flesh. So we're just gonna try and look for the emblem. Look, okay, there we go. Oh wow, we happened to get the warrior emblem first try. What well, look? Now what should I swap this for? What stops getting good? Like I feel like this is gonna stay good. Cause like you always get an extra dodge. This is gonna stay good. That's good, but like I don't know. Not the best thing. You can also there's like a there's like an entire tree about that. Like about combining stuff with this. But uh I feel like the frog gear is gonna get terrible. So I feel like this is what we need to swap it out for. And this is just for building. It makes you place tiles faster. This is also for mining. I already showed you all that. Mine faster. Oh, wowzers. We got the thingy thing. First try. What luck. I gotta put this back too. I didn't even eat the barbecue ribs. Which just like gives you like the best buffs of the game. This is everything. I'm trying to get something that gives me every every single benefit in the game. Like I need this and I need more stuff about fishing so I can also get something else. And you can make a cell phone and then you can make a shell phone. And it's all about like you can teleport to like everywhere. And it's basically like having a cell phone. You can teleport to anywhere. You can um not anywhere, but like you can teleport to certain spots, you can teleport to hell, you can teleport to the oceans, and you can teleport to the home. Um, it's it's just absolutely crazy. But yeah, but I wanna show something. So there's this. Okay. Power glove. So you need the Titan Glove, which you get from a Mimic, which Mimics appear in hard mode, which are now in hard mode. So, this increases melee knockback, and increases the size of weapons. So this becomes the Power Glove, and then the Power Glove, if you combine it with something else, makes it like a Robot Glove, and it just becomes really, really good and helpful. So, yeah. Okay, now the next part of the game is... Use this prawn hammer, which he drops. All my buffs just disappeared about. And yep, they're all gone. Besides iron skin. Iron skin and whatever that four minutes one left is. Uh, those were the ones that lasted the longest. I don't know what that one is that has four minutes left. That is a long one. What is it? Oh, decrease oh, its comp potion. Decrease enemy spawn rate. Okay, well this spawn, this next part is very. <clears throat> it's, 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 it's getting it like uh, it's, it's, you know thing. Yeah. It, it's uh, pretty annoying because it, all it is is mining and mining and mining. But Oh yeah, the jungle is now the hardest biome. There's extremely difficult enemies. The jungle is now insanely hard. Well, I wouldn't say the hardest biome. I think the crimson is the hardest biome, which is where we're going. And now we're in the hallowed. Wow, that's really cool. The hallowed is in the jungle, which I've never seen before. And that's really nice because usually the crimson, which is on the other side of the jungle, probably trying to break through right now, usually eats up the entire jungle and makes the jungle uh, crimson, and that's uh, basically, like, not good anymore. The jungle is bad, and you only have one jungle, so you need the jungle. And thank god that it's gonna be okay, but that means that our hallowed biome is gonna be in a jungle biome, which is really annoying, because I like it when it's not. Ooh, the fact that the hallowed ends over there means that this area, this, like, entire part of the jungle that I'm running through right now is probably gonna be consumed by crimson, crimson soon enough. Look. Crimson expanded over here. It wasn't over here before. 
It was more far back a little bit. Trying to skip over these bushes that damn you. I entire I, I skipped the entire primitive line because I was like just thinking about going to the ocean for some reason, so I just went to the ocean. Oh yeah, by the way, this is why the crimson is really annoying. Those guys that are chasing me right now look like that looked like plankton. What is that? It looks like a cool achievement. Big booty. Unlock one of the dungeon's largest mystery chests with the specialty. I'm looking for the thing, the achievement I just got. Gelatin World Tour. Defeat every type of slime there is. Yeah, it's, I, I, I have to create a new world, so all the, all the achievements I already had, I'm getting again, basically. So, yeah, that guy just did like 140 damage to me. And like, they leap onto you. But with this weapon, it's coming in so much clutch that I'm basically just saved. Like, nothing is hitting me. Like this, look, he can't penetrate through my circle, basically. He gets knocked back a little bit. And knockback is actually going to be really helpful for this weapon. Actually, not really, because you want them to be hitting constant, constant damage, but it means like that nothing can be around you. Okay, bottom left, it said your world has been blessed with cobalt. Cobalt is a new ore that just got into the game, and the more of these altars you break that I'm breaking right now with this hammer, the more of the ore the, there is. But it's a gamble, because the more altars you break, the more crimson spreads. And the more crimson that spreads, the more, the more sad your world is going to be, and it's just going to be, it's like, just terrible. You know, it's just going to be, like, all crimson, everything is annoying and red not good so you want to break at least like normally people will break like three at least just so they can get all of them and maybe like six but i'm gonna we're gonna be breaking nine and it's not too much of a gamble because we should be fine i mean i feel like nine is a fine number and that's a wrath coming after me it's like a ghost yeah 106 damage not appreciated oh god he's jumping onto me Here we go. Next one. And we already got Cobalt, which is the worst of the three ores. Mithril. Okay, next. So we have Cobalt and Mithril. And the reason I'm surprised by these is because on the first, uh, there's it's like when you generate a world, it's a choice between two ores. So you're going to get one of the ores. So... We got cobalt, but we could have got palladium. They're both the same, except they look different. That's the same. That's the only difference. I never get cobalt, cobalt, so I was pretty happy to see that. And I also never really get mithril. So, and I usually get orcalcum, which is the other one. So the next one is either titanium or adamantite. And the reason that I want titanium is because adamantite is terrible. So, if it's out of Mansai, I think this world has just gone to trash. No! It's out of Mansai! It's so trash! Titanium gives you like a bunch of. Oh no. That's our fourth one, by the way. Titanium gives you like a bunch of uh, melee damage, which is what we need. And it gives you good stuff all around but adamantite just straight up gives you medium okay defense and straight up no no melee damage which is our class and only um uh health region it just focuses on health region so yay good health region bad zero melee damage basically so now, missing a key step to having a good melee class, we are now going to be struggling a lot. So, dang. Because, like, the entire hard mode, the entire hard mode, 
it would be okay if we had titanium. But now the entire hard mode is going to be way more difficult. Well, I guess that adds a challenge. Hooray. Let's go look for more of these. That was our fifth one. I think, yeah, I think so. So that's our fifth one, then we need our sixth one, and then our seventh and eighth one, and ninth one. They're over here. That's gonna be our sixth, and then our seventh. Just look at it. You can see the glow of it. I had some work to do. Multi right. Jesse, where are the pink sparkle donuts? They only had blue. No. Get a mine faster. No, go, 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 go. Oh, it's the wrong item. That's the wrong. Mm, no, twenty two gold. Seven gold in there. Look at all those moon glows that I'm not going to farm. That is crazy. By the way, another annoying person in the game. 
has 520 health. And they're really annoying. They're, they're kind of like this big tank that does like 100 damage. Like, which is like everything in hard mode at the beginning of it. Like, everything does 100 damage, basically. And it will hit you. Even the normal- it's not like the new mobs are the only thing doing damage. Everything gets upgraded. So, a zombie will be doing like 50 instead of doing like 1 to 10. So Adamantite is like a little- it, I thought Adamantite was gonna be way better, but I forgot that it, instead of just going straight for Adamantite and using that like the entire game, I remembered that there was Hallowed armor. So that armor set is what I will be using after like using Adamantite, which I'll only be using for a little bit. And honestly, I might not even use Adamantite armor because finding Adamantite is insanely hard. And it's a big struggle. So. I don't think I will be doing that. And since I've never played. I actually used to play Melee. Because it was just a good class. So I think honestly. I think I'm going to switch to range. Because I, I just wanted to play a class I never played before. And then I, after I realized that I knew everything else I had to do. After this point. I was like, okay, I need this armor set, and then this armor set, and then I, I, I'm probably going to get this weapon, and this weapon. I was like, I think I might actually just do range, because, honestly, I want to do something different. And I'm not doing mage class, because then we'll just die. You don't even know how bad mage is. Mage will just kill you. Instantaneously. But I think Adamantite armor is actually pretty good for range, too. So... Oh, a tortoise! This is part of, a, of actually a melee set, and they have a small chance to drop something, and that's part of the armor set. But we're not getting that, because we're actually doing range. So, a lot of classes are like range and melee, so that's what I might be doing, because I'm also going to be trying to get the Terra. I'm still going to be trying to get the Terra. I think it's called the Terrible. Yeah, Terribly. So I'm going to be trying to get the Terra Blade too. So this is my sixth one. No, seventh one. I think. I'll find out because it'll show me which one it is. Oh god. I saw him coming up there. I see him. Yeah! Get scared. I don't think they're gonna be scared. I think they're just backing off because they, they there's a wall there. Yeah, they can't move. Okay, that was my sixth one. By the way, that big eye up there, it's not the demon eye that you usually see. It's actually like a mini eye of Cthulhu. It's only got like 500 health though. But that's still a lot for a demon eye. It's called a wandering eye and it has 600 health, more than the guy that I just said was annoying. So it's not more annoying because they're actually easy to kill. So. Seven. The reason I said I might not go for Adamantite is because it takes hours alone just to, by the way, don't really want this anymore, so that sucks. Um, yeah, it takes hours alone, I'm gonna keep that on there for now because I'm still using melee weapons. I'm gonna be using melee until like, like, cause that's the best weapon I have right now, melee weapon. Jeez. This is the best weapon I have. I had one HP right there, literally, it showed one HP. The Knight's Edge is my best weapon, so for now, I'm gonna keep using it. <gasps> don't hit me, don't hit me! I'm literally one hit. I'm four HP. Ooh. <laughs> uh... 
There are literally zero more. I need one more. Yeah, there's like a new armor set right after farming hours for Edamantite. That's why I didn't want to get it. I think I keep saying that and then not saying it fully, so... Okay, here is where ammo box, 20% chance to save ammo. Nice. Shotgun. Terrible. This is where we make the Mega Shark. As I said, now you can make it in hard mode because now I have to kill that one boss so I can make the Mega Shark. And then we'll fight a different boss so we can get something good. This is good right now. So. Guess what we're gonna do? We're going to go get the range of love because we cheat. We're cheaters. It's not like huge cheating, but it's like cheating enough to where like you don't feel good about it because you're like just not farming for something. I mean, I farm for hours to fish, but like this, I just don't want to do. Like, I really don't want to do this. Look how many, look how much storage I've been saving because this world has so much stuff in it. It goes up to this chest right here. That's kind of a lot of stuff. And I was using this extractinator. That's why there's so much trash ores in here. So show me this is part of the tool I was talking about. Show me the money. Yeah. <laughs> we could save up to sixty percent, or we can get a sixty percent chance and not conserve ammo, and it's because with that one buff that we just got, with that thing, plus um, that one armor that has 20% uh, ammo saving, and if we got a potion that gave us 20%, we could actually have 60% ammo reservation chance. So if I shot this for an, for and use up all my bullets without using it, I would probably still have more than half of my bullets. So that's pretty nice. If I like, if I um, shot it with the thing, so I still have more than half. That's very good. These aren't all the chests, by the way. There's chests upstairs. So why do I have so many melee emblems? Warrior emblems, but I don't care. Not a single ranged? I had to have tried to farm for a ranged emblem at once. A hundred percent. Mage emblem? Everything but a melee. Keep on, bro. There's no way. Why does I keep on? Keep on. Oh no. I broke something. On my gaming chair. I didn't break it, but I tore it off on accident. I'm gonna keep it there, because I actually didn't like that on accident, so that's why I was pulling on it a little bit. This is titanium, by the way. I will be needing out of man's at one point, though. What are these? Flounders? That's weird. I've never seen that. I will exist. I ate one, but like... Never seen one in the game. Ranged emblem. Ranged emblem. Come on. Zero ranged emblem. 
potion chest. Look at all these potions. Speed potions. Like nothing in here. There's consumables, but zero potions. It's kind of sad. This was a summoner world, if you were wondering. That's why there's so much summoning stuff. Don't even have a summoner emblem. That's what's sad. I probably farmed for hours for that thing and didn't even get it. That's why there's no guide, uh, guide voodoo dolls here either. They probably killed him so many times they couldn't even get the emblem. Uh, this is the more awesome one. Nice. Man, I even double checked every chest. Nothing. Alright, no ten. Alright, no ten. Alright, no. Here's your souls of flight so I can get wings easier. I already have the thing that makes the wings, I just need the souls of flight, that's why I'm getting this. This is why you need to organize your chest, by the way. What do I got in my bank account? I can open it from here and close it from there. This is my arena, my old arena. Okay, cool. I even have I don't even have a sky base. Since this was a classic world, I was able to do this, but if this wasn't a classic world, that took a lot of damage. If this wasn't a classic world, I wouldn't be able to do this, but I fought every mechanical boss up here. Or just in this big arena, which I could probably still do, but it would be really difficult. So, yeah. Guess I'm not getting it. Well, let's look for the ingredients to craft the thing that we need, so. We do need vertebrae. Oh, this. We're gonna make wings before we do anything. There's a vertebrae. So. First, let's see how to make one of these, at least. I know one of them takes vertebrae. Yeah, the mechanical worm, the first one we're doing. Oh, I forgot you could summon the brand of food. Really cool. Summon the destroyer, six of these, five of that, and six of that. Okay. Pretty simple summon. Let's get wings. Souls of Nice, the underground crimson. They're purple, like corruption, so it's like they should have made a crimson one, and it's supposed to be like red, but they didn't, so it sucks. That is too many day blooms. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It just spans across. Oh, yep, that's the thing we need to kill. Very annoying to kill, so. This might take a moment. Or two. Or three. This thing's pretty hard to kill. Killing it, going all in with a melee weapon will just get me killed because this guy does a way too much damage. 
Like, even when you get really powerful, he's still gonna be doing a lot of damage. Like, only 106, but, like, he, like, attacks you so much. And if you stand still, he'll just kill you. Look, I used to be able to kill these guys so easily, but now... I, I have to, like, spend, like, 100 shots on them. Jeez! I'm just gonna keep this spinning and dodge, because, like, every time I dodge, I'm gonna be hit him, like, once. Like that. It's not once, because I'm hitting so fast, but... It's gonna, like, it's like tapping him. No! And now... Actually, usually, he comes back from you, even when you die. He goes back down to your spawn and attacks you again. I don't know if he does that anymore. Or it's only in two player, because he has another person to target, but... I'm just waiting for him to come down from the bottom, the top of the screen and just nail me in the face and just die. Nope, he won't. It's pretty sad, because now we gotta find another one and fight another one. Look at all these day blooms, dude! Holy crap! That's the definition of infinite, bro. We will never run out of day blooms. I might have to harvest these. And why are there none growing over here? Just a little spot where I didn't want to grow them. Dude, I've never been so happy to see a day bloom. I spent way too long doing this. I got my reward, I guess. You can even call this a reward. This is just sadness to see what you did with your life. Well, you have to go up, and then the wyvern is going to be there. Like, you got to go up, and then, like, because in this, it might be a little too low for a wyvern to spawn, but, like, up here, maybe. I don't know. Usually, you have a platform that's, like, down all the way to the ocean, where you run across, and then you would fight some bosses on. Like, the twins, they chase you, and you got to go like that and shoot them. So, that's what I'll probably be doing. But, like, in classic mode, it's so much easier that you can literally um, just fight them, like, normally. And you don't have to do anything. But in expert mode, which is what we're playing... That was easy. Come on! Come eat me! Not you. You can't eat me, little weak, weak boy. Internet money. Oh crap. We need a better grappling hook. <laughs> we still have a, a the bone hand, skeletal hand, which is not very good. Oh. Merchant has arrived. Good. We need his stuff. There we go. Finally. Now if I take this. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, with like this. And with something else. I gotta check it, what the other thing is. Oh, it's the mineral detector. I thought I used that thing already. Well, I guess not. Boom. Goblin tech. It will display movement speed, damage per second, and valuable ore. And then, you combine this with the GPS, which I have, the Goblin Tech, which I have, and the Rec 3000, which I have. This Fish Finder, though, I will get at one point, but holy crap, is it going to take long. Because it you have to randomly get it. Out of one of the 200 fishing quests, I got one of the parts out of like 10. 
So, getting this is going to be very hard. And when I get that, the PDA is used to make the cell phone. Which is really good. And then you can combine that with the other thing I have. Which is the magic conch. And then you get the demon conch, which I don't have. And then you have the fish and lava, which is gonna suck, but I have to do it at one point. So, yeah. Let's get our wings. I just have to adjust that because I can see what that was. So, it's basically, we're on the right. All this not information that you just don't need. Like where you are. What level you are, actually what level you are on is pretty helpful. Because you need to know like if you're in the caverns or stuff, if you're fishing, but whatever. You see the mini shark sucks now, but once that becomes a mega shark, it'll be really good. Where are they? Usually they come when you don't want them. Now when I want them, they, they're not here. Like, come on, that don't make no sense. Uh, this just feels so nice. Screenshot that. That's a beauty. Yep, she's a beauty. Yeah. I should farm them right now. Where are they? There we go. Iron skin. Just so I don't die. I should have brought- I'm gonna bring stuff that makes things come to me so I can get the wyvern. Potions. Titan potion. No. Battle potion. Increase enemy spawn rate. And then, and useful. We're gonna take the candle, which should be in there. Where the candle? Oh no! I must have thrown it away. Candle. Candle's good. Threw it away. I don't know. Well, that sucks. It just increases the enemy spawn rate. What are you doing? Anything else to it? Panda ears, furry. Exotic chew, chewing furry. This guy's a baby furry. He always sells stuff like that, too. Alright. Drink. Everybody come at me. Uh, okay, okay, oh my god! Dude! That was way too fast. Okay, the problem is there might be two wyverns, so I gotta kill this guy fast, and not take as much time. Because if there's two wyverns, I'll just die and get killed in zero. I'm gonna take a hit for this one a little bit. Oh, didn't take a hit. Dodging shoots are just too good. Let's go! Get a little bit of gold and the souls of light, which is what I wanted. So now I gotta get out of here so I don't die. Oh. I lost the potion of dude. That many jungle effect or that many jungle biomes is literally spawning in jungle. Biomes. The jungle is really hard to beat, so now that's not very good for me, and I might have to destroy that.
stream is about to end, well, I might just hold this one to the last second. Cause why not? Five more minutes. Okay, and this is where we make our wings. This is where we make our wings. Oh, no, we can't make them. <sighs> we can't make them because you need to make them in something called a mithril anvil, and you make that by getting mithril, and mithril you get by the ore, which we were mining. So Now, we gotta go mine. So, I think what I'll do is I'll mine, and then when the stream ends, I'll be basically in the middle of mining. So... What's that thing? What's up? Plus one. Increase the max number of centuries. Oh. Well, I'll just be mining, and I'll just keep on mining. Until... It ends. And then I get or calcum. Or I mean, uh, mithril for the anvil. Okay, now you just gotta search. Even the places that you already searched in become some mithril, so... Look, cobalt, cobalt. You need cobalt so you can mine mithril. Look, the crimson. Let me show you this, let me show you this. I don't want to die though, so I gotta get it out of this biome. This biome is very dangerous. Let me show you this. The crimson, look how this crap spreads. Like I said, crimson is here, all the way down here. Down to over here, all the way over here. Because when you defeat the wall of flesh, you defeat him at a certain area, and it creates a V. So, I defeated him, like, right here or something. It creates a V, and that V shoots out crimson this way, shoots out hallowed this way. That's why we had a hallowed right here, and now there's a crimson this way, over here. So now the hallowed's here, the crimson's there. So it shoots out a bunch of good and bad the second that it turns that. So, oh god, that did too much damage for a jellyfish too. Let's switch that. More mining speed on this. We need a bunch of cobalt. So we can craft a cobalt pickaxe, so we're allowed to break mithril. So yeah, that's what we need. Uh, that's the plan. Another good thing is, now there's something called... What is it called? Uh, uh, so it's with an eye, I think. Ooh, um, I don't know, but it's this, it's this debuff that enemies will shoot at you, there's this really hard enemy will shoot at you in the crimson, and then when you kill them, they drop it, and you can put that on bullets, and that's going to be really helpful, and you can put it on arrows, so, and what it does is it decreases their defense, so now, I can decrease others, decrease, I can decrease other enemy's defense, so, that's good, but, also, what, is that a, whatever, looks like a spider area over there, at the top of my screen, Bung. Blink root, wow. Wild blink root. Not used to seeing that, I just see the one for that bro. That's a mimic in there. Mimics can drop good stuff, but also bad stuff. But yeah, let's do it. Okay, they're pretty hard to beat. Oh, but they do get like stopped in their tracks when they get hit, so not hard to beat. Our first good hook 